Hello techies, welcome back to the channel. My name is Krishna and I am a big data tester. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, SQL and today's video is going to be about SQL and how a test engineer can crack SQL. I will solve 200 SQL questions that will cover all the topics of SQL and while I solve this uh, 200 questions in between whichever topic comes, whichever function or whichever uh, topic main important topic of the SQL comes, I will try to explain that in brief and uh, so please watch the full video and uh, it will come into parts so I it will be a lengthy video please watch the video carefully and try to solve the problems uh, the SQLs by yourself so let's get started with the video Okay, take is let's go to the screen and uh, if you have uh, seen my previous video where I asked you to install dviewer and how to configure the database please watch that video if you not seen it and import uh, employee table and department table those two table are the tables which we are going to use and right we are going to solve 200 queries in that 200 queries if you are able to solve the 200 queries you don't have to practice SQL anymore if you are able to solve these 200 queries without looking at any reference you can solve if these 200 queries you can crack any SQL interviews as a tester you don't have to go to hacker rank you don't have to go anywhere to solve the uh, SQL queries you just need to solve these 200 queries or maybe a little more than 200 queries so I'll make a series of videos solving these 200 queries let's get started with the video and uh, let's go to the screen and let's start solving the uh, SQL queries if you have not uh, seen the previous video on how to uh, create a database and import employee table and department table these two are the major tables we are going to use please import those tables I have given the DDL scripts also in the previous video DDL scripts are there to create the table also and DML scripts are also there to import the data into the database where you have created in dviewer so let's get started with dviewer and start solving the queries these 200 queries are beneficial and you don't have to learn anything else so let's get started so uh, display uh, the details of all the employees so it is simple as that select star from EMP I'm just running this particular line I'm not running anything else you can select this particular line and run this line so I'm getting all the 14 records here which we have imported in the previous video so this is there you can do control enter because I don't have a semicolon here so this will try to run the whole script this full and it will give me an error so if I try to run control enter see it is throwing an error but if I put a semicolon here it will try to run from this to this semicolon and it will give me the answer so you can do this or select only this particular line and run it here or just select this line and do control enter that should also work select start from EMP you get these values and this is the display the department information uh, from department table so select star from the EPT EPT is the department table these are the four departments that we imported last video display the name and job of all the employees so let me show you so this is a query in SQLite if you want to know the table description the uh, in Oracle it is describe and in MSQL also I guess it is DESC or describe so um, in Oracle it is DESC and it is uh, described in um, MySQL I guess so in SQLite we don't have describe or DSC uh, so we have pragma so use pragma table info table info is a uh, uh, is inbuilt table so and pass the table name so here it is album so I'll pass EMP and run this run this I get the details here these are the uh, column names and these are the data types so these are the column names so what are they looking for they are looking for name and job so select select key name comma job from EMP and this is I get name and the jobs this is awesome display the name and salary of all the employees so it is select e name comma sal from EMP I guess the column name is sal if <laughs> the column name is might be salary or let's see yeah if the column name if I pass a wrong column name it will give me an error so it is unable to find this particular column and then if I do sal or if you are not getting then you can do select uh, star from EMP 
limit phi you can do this limit phi or you can do limit one also because only one record is more than enough to give you the column names you can do this or uh, where one equal to two just get the column names because one equal to two because one is not equal to two so we are making the uh, where clause as false so that we just get the column names here are the columns name we want so just do this to get the columns names or you can do pragma and run you will get the column names and the description of the table so anyway you can do it whatever uh, way you like display the name of and the salary of the employees this is the name and the salary where e name and salary this is what was required let's go to fifth one uh, display the employee number and total salary so let me do select select e mp number comma cell from emp so if i do this i'm just getting salary so this was the previous query but you want the total salary so what do you mean by total salary so if you see here let me do select star from emp so if i do this if you can see here salary and commission so commission is also part of the salary so that is what they are asking they are asking the total salary that means salary plus the commission so if i do here salary plus commission so i get this the problem with this is uh, the moment i the moment that particular employee is not getting any commission the answer itself the total salary becomes null so here if i see there are null values some of the employees are not getting any commission but i but at least they are getting the salary so salary plus commission should be there but i am getting null so what uh, there is a function called as nvl in oracle and ms sql so you can try nvl but uh, when uh, since we are working on sklite there is a function called as if null so if null uh, the syntax is f null x comma y so y if i do zero it will give me zero but what what do i want it should at least print the salary so this is what i get so the syntax syntax for if null is if null x comma y so that means if 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 the x value comes out to be null then print y value so now in this scenario salary plus commission comes out to be null but i want i don't want the salary and commission to come out to be null so just print the salary of it so that's why i'm making this you can keep this note and please uh, uh, please learn nvl command if you are looking uh, if you are thinking of how to write nvl how is nvl just comment in the comment box nvl i tr i'll try to make a video on nvl in detail so that you can learn that particular function but it's a simple function if you learn it uh, you should get it it's, it's very simple so let's display the employee name and salary for all employees so okay earlier was salary uh, it was employee number so now it is e name and salary so display the employee name and salary of all employees yes name and salary of all employees display the names of all the employees who are working in department 10 okay this is good we will start with the where clause here select star from emp display the names right we'll just display the names from emp where where dept number yeah i get the hint here dept number equal to 10 so these are the employees if you want i can just print the department number also so you see here department number king clark miller so similarly we can compare it select star from emp So here department 10 let me sort this or under yeah these are the three employees that are in um, department 10 king clark miller and this is what we are getting king clark miller of employee 10 so this is where you have to use where clause department number the column name of uh, department is department number so i have written department no is 10 so display Going to the next one, display the names of all employees who are working as clerks and drawing a salary more than 3000. Okay, 
let me do select start from emp first so they want clerk okay let me write select start display the names right just e name uh, from emp where where uh, mm, job equal to uh, since clerk is a string type so i will put it in quotes make sure the case is similar so here we can see the clerk the clerk is of uh, you know uh, capital so similarly we have to in the where clause also we have to write it as capital so this will be uh, in single quotes clerk so and also there is a clause working as clerk and drawing a salary more than 3000 and I can go here right and uh, sell greater than 3000 okay there are no employees who are working as clerks let's sort this in order and see these are the four employees working as clerk but if you see the salary 800,090 yeah. so there are four employees working as clerk yeah four employee working as clerk but none of them are getting more than 3000 let's try to make it as 1000 i'm changing the question uh, so that at least some output should come so if if you see adam so let me put here uh, job comma sell okay just to give clarity adams and miller are working as clerk and salary is 1100 1, i've written here the condition as more than thousand actual question is more than three thousand so in this scenario if i write this query i will not get any output as we have seen three thousand so if i do three thousand there is no employee and they're only looking for display the names of all the employees so i don't have to put job and salary i'm just putting for the sake of clarity i'm putting here in the question i mean in the solution but if they're actually asking the question you have to just write this okay i'm just writing this for your clarity job and salary so that we can see and since we are not getting any output i just change the question to 1000 so that we get output so that you understand so here there are two concepts where clause and and clause okay so there is or also okay you can learn about it or maybe as we solve the problems we'll do or and and a lot of detail where clauses okay let's go to the ninth question display the employee number and name who are earning commission so select uh, employee number right emp number from uh, employee number and name right e name from emp uh, where uh, commission who are getting commission huh, uh, is not null here employee number employee name commission is not null so they are looking where uh, earning commission somebody who is getting commission without so let me also print commission values also yes these are the commission they are getting some or commission greater than zero. Sorry, this should be and select star from EMP. So commission. So if you see zero this so these four employees are getting commission but one is getting zero that means <laughs> he's not getting commission so that's why i added this and clause where i don't want zero but if i remove this i will get zero also so but obviously zero is not a commission so that's why i am adding this of this uh, also so uh, whenever you're writing a sql query make it more um, you know precise and clear why you're doing this so uh, read the question properly so that your answer is very accurate okay while testing you have to test the data and you cannot make mistakes if you test the data oh, and there is a defect in the data then it will cause a problem in future so that's why you have to be very keen in writing sql queries and write the details of it as we go along writing sql queries i will explain you in more details how you can make the queries more functional and more uh, accurate so this is done uh, let's go to the next one display the employee number and name who do not earn any commission who are earning commission that is who are earning commission who do not earn so 
or do not earn select EMP number comma a name from EMP hmm. uh, or do not earn any commission so where commission is null okay so whichever value have null let me put commission here also to get clarity of that null since in earlier question we did commission is greater than zero this part i have put why because uh, even if it is less than zero doesn't make sense right so if they are getting commission they should get something <laughs> more than zero then the commission is considered if they are getting anything less than zero that uh, it's not considered as commission so here also zero yeah so turner is the employee who is getting commission at zero so obviously that doesn't make sense uh, having zero as a commission so i have added this value also today we have solved 10 qu queries and we have already crossed 10 minutes of the video uh, i will try to make more videos and i'll go into details of it and there are 200 questions and if you if you like this video please comment a lot uh, that you are liking this video and uh, Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video and share with all your friends. If I get a lot of comments and if I get a lot of uh, likes to this video, for sure I'll make a video with 50 queries, solving 50 or more than 50 queries in one video. So and uh, thank you for watching the video and please subscribe to the Hindi channel because I am will be posting uh, the uh, 200 queries. Uh, first on the hindi channel and then on the english channel so please subscribe to the channel and watch the video and uh, hindi channel if you know hindi and if you are uh, only speaking english then i will surely make videos don't uh, be in a hurry but give me some time i will surely make videos maybe uh, an hour, hour of a video where we will solve around um, 50 or 100 queries so thank you for watching the video please subscribe and click the thumbs up button share with all the all the people who are trying to be a tester and who are aspiring to be uh, in the uh, data field so thank you for watching the video and bye bye